Hey guys, what's up? Alex here, and I have a simple tutorial this week uh, because I can't, I couldn't really work on anything else because I have finals this week. So I want to get that over with, and then I'll go back to doing my motion tracking tutorials and more uh, advanced effects starting next week. So today we're gonna learn how to add more velocity to our shots, and this is version two. If you want to see version one, I have a video in the description below. So we're going to use a plugin called pinch slash punch and it's under your video effects go ahead and click it and for the video example I use the maximum pinch and if you want to see an example of what it does basically basically gets a certain area of your video and it will basically pinch it and stretch it out all the way to the back so that's uh, kind of uh, stretching inwards and it's kind of like CC lens not really but kind of acts like the same way so let's animate it get the maximum pinch and drag it to your video and you want to go ahead and animate it so at the first plugin you want to set it to zero you want to go ahead and go to the part where you want to um, begin stretching it out and you want to stretch it out probably about 10 to, 10 to 15 seconds or 10 to 15 frames before you make the shot so right around here and we're going to go ahead and go to the part where you make the actual shot just right around here make a keyframe alright next we're gonna make one keyframe in between these two keyframes we made and you wanna go to the part where you uh, are about to shoot so three or five frames before you're actually about to shoot you wanna set it there go ahead and bring the amount all the way down to negative one don't set it to 1 because what that will do is that it will uh, kind of zoom in a certain area and you don't want that. You want it to basically kind of zoom out like CC lens. And let's preview. The effects. And you can see add some velocity to the clip rather than the clip without the uh, plugin. And one thing that actually adds to this effect is using sound effects. So if you look here, I have two sound effects. There's a whoosh and a uh, gunshot. So yeah, you can find those online. And again, if you want to make this effect go faster, you can of course change the um, placement of the keyframes by bringing the first keyframe uh, closer in or you can right click on the first keyframe and set it to a fast fade so that's the end of this tutorial I hope you guys liked it uh, again I'm gonna have more advanced tutorials starting next week once I get finals over with and if you wanna help me out please like the video and give it a comment and I will see you guys next time